Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo. Welcome to my videos learning the Yesu FT710. M0 FXB, if you want the scope on your new Yesu FT710 or even DX10 to be very similar to the one that's on the ICOM 7300, watch the rest of this video. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FT710. So if you want your scope to be like very similar to the ICOM 7300 style as you can see here Let's zoom in for you okay the selections you make is so if you're in the 3d mode that's what it would look like now if we go into three we're in now water sort of waterfall style scope now which one do we select you just press function then color, and then that's the one there, color number 10. And I find that that's the one that makes your scope look and feel like the 7300, which feels very good. And you can change the speed here, slow it down if you want. change the span we're on 200 at the moment which I find is the one that works for me if you want to tune faster tune with the DSP knob here just at the bottom there like so you can expand it as well It looks great, doesn't it? And then you've got the center here. Cursor. Okay, the center. It fixed is that. If I tune now. Center. It just puts it in the center. And then you can... It moves the scope rather than the center. Fix. And if you want to go back to 3D, the one I recommend you use, function, colour, and the one I think looks the best on the 3D, I'm pretty sure it's colour 5, oops, too far, not fast enough. Just double check. Yeah, it's every colour 5 is the one I like. And then you have to hit the function and turn the gain level here. You have to turn it down quite a lot, to be honest, to really see it and enjoy it to about minus 20. Which is okay. It takes a bit of getting used to. I mean, it does look snazzy, but I think for finding stations quickly and easy, use that one, but go function, color, color 10. And then if you want, you can expand it. And then you need to turn the function and the gain level back to about minus five, I think, roughly. Quite busy this morning on 40. Bye for now, 7-3.